four. All right, hole number two on the moors. Here we are. What are we? What are we saying, Mr. Epix? One sixty-three off the tee. We got one seventy-two to the center. Great, how it does that all on its own. It's Epix. It's the Pro Generation 2 51 millimeter Garmin Epix. One of the ultimate visibility action sport healthy lifestyle tracker smartwatches out there. Garmin is well known and no doubt one of the best in the business. Let's look at what the Epix has to offer. The Pro model. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying everything I can to try to live a healthy lifestyle and do what I can to keep my body in tuned and basically healthy. I don't know. It's it's for me when it comes down to the watch, I like that watch that can basically do it all, a one-stop shop. So if you can give me all the stuff about my heart rate and you can let me know that I'm getting good sleep while also tracking and giving me navigation opportunities and things like that, especially when it comes to like golf. Wow, now we're taking things to another level, something that a G-Shock can't do. And as far as the size goes, well, I'm used to wearing G-Shocks, so when you look at the sizes of these Garmin's at 47 and 51 millimeter, that's no problem, no problem. However, some people may have some limitations with regards to the wrist size. The good thing is that some of these models, they come in 42, 47, and 51 millimeters. So there is some options there for a wide range of wrists. Now, all the activities and all the sports tracking that you can do with these watches is just dynamite. The Garmin Epix second generation here that I got on right now, fantastic. I have the Phoenix 7X, but I'm just looking at the Garmin Epix here today and I wanted to do one of those first-hand type of tests as far as the tracking, especially when I get to the golf course and I want to see if I can run the holes and uh, see what kind of monitoring capabilities I have here because I hear it's pretty, pretty good. This is what I'm talking about. As soon as I hit the little app thing for golf, it automatically knew I was here. It knows we're at Conestoga, so we got to select the 18 that we're going to choose, which will be the Moors. So I'm on tee box. I'm on the tee box right now. It knows. Have the option to keep score, so you're gonna check that off by pressing that button. And we're gonna play from whites. All right, hole number one, par five. Here we go. Coming from someone who's been using a G-Shock to tell the time and do activity tracking, as well as the Garmin Approach S20 when it comes to being on the golf course, I mean, having all of the capabilities of those two watches in one particular design, that just, I don't, it just screams awesomeness. I'm impressed. If Garmin's not on your radar and you don't already have one, check out the Phoenix 7 line. Check out the Garmin Epix line. You have access to golf tracking like that. Wow. It might even shave a couple strokes off your game. You never know. The cost right out of the box is $1,200. I have the Garmin Phoenix 7X and I just wanted to get a good look at this one because mine's Sapphire Solar and I wanted to see what the Epix Pro has to offer in comparison especially for a non-runner. I'm just a watch enthusiast who likes to track lifestyle stuff, workouts, and especially golf. Tracking your shots, your score, your movement around the course, your distances, it's fantastic. Lots of pluses and a few minuses. You don't want to hear about all the minuses at this point, but the price point is one of them, I'll tell you that much. But let's enjoy the pluses because it's a tough build. Now we have a 51 millimeter polymer plastic case with large digital display, vibrant AMOLED 1.4 inch display, that's a plus. The color is a slate gray with the steel bezel, black band. Now this is not sapphire crystal. We may have to put them into the minus category, but don't worry, it's still got plenty of pluses as well as power to get this thing movement and tracking all of your different activities. It takes a little getting used to, but you know what? I'm used to wearing a G-Shock and they're mostly about 48 to 50 millimeters anyway. So it wasn't a big reach to go to 51 for this Epix Pro. Like I said, I have the Phoenix Sapphire Solar 51 millimeter. Yeah, 7X, it's nice. I get it, it's not for every wrist, but my seven and a quarter inch wrist shows that it, it can work, right? That's, I would consider mine to be a medium style wrist. Even if it's a little big, it packs a big punch here. And I'm no athlete and no runner. Now the flashlight or the torch, it used to be on the Phoenix 7 series watches and it's been added to the Epix Pro now. So this flashlight, yeah, there's a plus for you. 
it's great and something you least expected to be some so valuable the addition to a watch with four levels of intensity including red light option for a more discreet color tone in case you have to get up in the middle of the night and you don't want to disrupt the whole house or disrupt your partner or spouse in the bedroom you can navigate in the dark with ease and confidence and i never thought i'd be using it so much but man does it come in handy plus double tap the top left control button to activate and deactivate and it can also be accessed by holding the control and accessing the watch menu dial and cycling around to the torch icon and selecting it having that ability to do everything with one device i mean that's just great next level all the exercises activities tracking gps multi-band tracking maps 24 7 health monitoring now here we go heart rate monitor and so much more it's just right there at your fingertips and not to mention with the touch screen here even in the epix model fantastic now the battery life is rated for about 31 days now i don't know once you plug this thing and you get the max power if you're utilizing some of these gps tracking features and the health monitoring stuff it could be eating into that battery so just be mindful of that 31 days in smart phone mode 58 hours in gps mode but hey that kills the ability of some of the other watches out there on the market like a g-shock or the apple watch which are going to be required to be charged probably every few days or so maybe a week 10 days tops for the g-shock now what we don't want to get away from is the wear right it's important if it's going to be that big you've got you, you have to be comfortable and the silicone rubber strap here it's just dynamite and there's lots of options online as well if you want to go on to amazon and some other strap companies uh, they make all kinds of different straps that are going to be compatible with this watch design for the garmin phoenix as well as garmin epix models that's right even the x and the pro models coming in at the 51 millimeter that's versatility that's a plus now you're going to have about what is it 32 gigs of storage here for all of the mapping and and information to be stored on the watch I mean, not to mention you'll have the ability to download music. Having North American maps already stored and logged into this watch in particular, wow, this is fantastic. Having that built-in storage is just dynamite. There's also the ability to download other countries' maps as well, which could take some time and eat away into your battery, but make sure you're at home when you're doing that stuff. There are training exercises and workouts programmed into the watch as well. This thing can just aid and support your whole healthy lifestyle. Plus... Now, receiving smart notifications is not my jam, but knowing that the watch has the ability to do it is pretty interesting. You can get those notifications, but unfortunately, you can't necessarily respond to the different messages for email or text because you, there's no actual keyboard or nothing like that. But there are some standard ones that are built into it that you can customize. So no problem there. Now, sleep monitoring and morning report information is also great. I mean, I have sleep apnea. I have a CPAP machine. So I'm also getting information on my app on the phone about how my sleep is going. But having the ability to see that and see how you feel with the different uh, health and awareness uh, features that the watch has for you, I mean, that's just great. Every morning you're going to get a sleep report. <laughs> with the heart rate and sleep monitoring, you can see how rested you are and how ready you're going to be for the next exercise or next activity. Wow. There's also body battery and stress tracking, which lets you know how your body's doing and how it's recovered and whether it's ready to go for the next thing you're going to do. And Oh my goodness, so much more. And yes, it's in the Phoenix 7X as well. I already told you, I need this thing for golf. And guess what? It can deliver. We already have the ability for golf courses to be added into this application of the watch. The data is there. So the watch will recognize when you're close to the next golf course and it can bring it up as an option for you if you're going to play around. Now with my Garmin Approach S20, I had to download the actual watch uh, golf courses to the watch. But here they're available in the data of the watch. I mean, this doesn't get any better than this. Hole by hole, score by score, shot by shot, it don't matter. Course hole tracking from tee to green and the ability to see your distances oh boy and on the go she's very sharp very clear very accurate and of course you have the obvious right i mean you have the visibility here with the amoled uh, uh, display it's really bright and vibrant and of course you can change that watch face and there's all kinds of different watch faces you can choose from 
You can select a full digital. You can select an analog and digital dial. Like, oh boy. And then you can also adjust what data information you have visible on the watch. Okay, did I say this was next level already? You're going to have the ability to look and have that information at the blink of an eye. Boom. Just like that. What's your, whether it's the altimeter information you want, whether it's the heart rate that you want. I mean, fantastic. Your temperatures, you know, sunset, sunrise, the step count, which, what am I at right now? 6,548 for today. The ability to pay for stuff on your watch? What? Yeah, that's right. Garmin Pay. Garmin Pay. Convenience. The on-the-go ability to have a payment method on your wrist. Is this for real? Yeah, that's right. You don't have to carry your wallet if you're going for a jog or run, doing some exercises and things. Outdoor activities? Doesn't matter. That's a plus. No solar power with the epics. That's a minus. You want to have that boost. The ability to be out there and be active and getting the sun's rays to assist in generating or charging that cell for the watch? You can't beat that nonsense. Come on. Sorry, you can't beat that. As far as I'm concerned, it should be necessary in all of these watches at this point. This is 2024. You have an accelerometer in there for your step tracking, like I just told you. Altimeter, barometer, compass, all activated with that lower uh, left button, which is the down button. If you just press, I think, and hold, it'll take you. No, nope, actually, that goes to your music provider information and control of the phone. Your center button will allow you to, if you press it, allows for easy navigation and checking out other functions and widgets uh, to provide information, which is great. Like your sunset information, your ABC, altimeter, barometer, compass. Uh, just tap on that. And you'll see you have the compass setting. And then if you swipe down or swipe up, I think it's down. You can go to the altimeter, let you know how high you are above sea level. And of course, then you also have the barometer. And we had a good day today. It was sunny. So you can see it's reading 1021.7. I know that the lower the number means bad weather is coming, like in that 960 range. And then once you get up over 1,000, whatever, I think it's millibars or kilopascals or whatever it is all i know is the number is high you should have some sun the number goes low you're probably going to get rain or a storm it's that same five button functionality that a lot of the garmin watches have and for the most part the feature or the access is the same so or at least somewhat similar don't quote me on that 100 because of course there's different models right but they use that same configuration as far as the buttons sometimes it may do one or two things different but no problem the big things are the AMOLED touchscreen. Now that's a plus, right? Uh, and the light torch, <laughs> dynamite. The mapping, tracking, and health monitoring systems. Oh boy. And so much more. For someone like me, I mean, this watch is over the top. And hopefully can be around for years to come. Providing there's updates and stuff that Garmin sends through. Now that would be very helpful. If you're an owner of a Garmin, Phoenix, Epix, whatever it might be, let me know how it is as far as... When you have an older model, do some of the updates trickle down to those models as well so that you have some longevity with the watch and you don't have to replace it every year or two. That would be helpful. Leave a comment. Let me know. And of course, we're at the size. Now, I know the size doesn't work for everyone. It's 51 millimeters. And she also comes in 47 and 42. Now, check them out at your local authorized dealer or on Amazon, wherever you want to go. Of course, they should all be made with titanium, but that's not the case where you have steel models, things like that, right? For strength and durability, you would expect that maybe that's what they should put in for that price point. Um, and of course, it would be lighter. So if you have a larger package overall, the lighter it is, the better that would be. No more steel. No more steel. <laughs> but I guess it'll do. It's still strong. And again, no solar. Why not? That's a big minus. At least to aid in assisting with power for th those 31 days. Maybe pushing it to 45 if you're not using as many features, depending on what you're up to. The possibilities are endless. Put solar power in all of these watches. And so what if you're going to see a solar ring in there? Who cares? Right? It's not going to take away from the aesthetics of the watch too much. Hey, when was the last time you were wearing a Garmin solar-powered watch and someone came up to you and said, I don't like that solar ring in there. <laughs> Comment below, let me know. Well, the sleep score looked pretty good this morning. Well rested, ready to go. The Garmin Epix Pro looks like we're gonna tackle Foxwood. 
today. I'll be sure to utilize the golf tracking and we'll let you know how things are going with the round. All right, GPS should know where we are. Hit that top right button, select the golf. Wait for the GPS, should take a few seconds. There we go, searching courses. Aha, we're at Foxwood, we're playing red blue. Should be a fun 18. Select it, load it, keep score. We're playing from the silver tee deck. Par four, 374. Ready to go, just like that, boom. Nothing with, no issues. No connections with your phone, don't have to worry about it. The watch does it all. By the way, I plugged it in this morning. It was at 59%. I plugged it in for an hour and seven minutes and it went right up to 98. I like that. Front nine took two hours and 20 minutes. Garmin Epix Pro says so. But the interesting thing is, is that the watch knows I'm swinging a club because now it's showing that top yardage is my distance off the tee. After the front nine, we're done. We have uh, readouts as far as total distance or yardage that we've done for the first nine holes. We also have your score update, obviously. And we also are looking at, um, what else was it? Oh, whether or not you want to continue or pause the play or resume or whatever. So pretty special. Well, we're on, we're way onto the back nine now. So no problem. We'll let you know when we're all done. Finished up with a par. We'll punch it in and see what our score is here. And we'll save that score. First round of the year in the bag with an 89. Not bad. Not bad, I guess. 47.42 on the back. Look at the overall time. It shows you the overall time. Four hours, 55 minutes. Steps, 6,553. What? Strokes 89. Fantastic. You have the option to save, edit, whatever your scorecard. I don't know. Just spectacular. Garmin Epix Pro. And it's also a feature that's going to be available on the 7 Series as well for the Phoenix. Uh, and I would assume available on all the golf uh, apps or whatever, but dynamite. Can't say enough good stuff about it. Lastly, the cost. Now, I'm going to struggle with this one a little bit. Right? This model's coming in 1200 Canadian dollars. I got my Phoenix 7X Sapphire Solar for $900. I definitely need to do a comparison video because that extra $300 is getting me what exactly? When I don't have titanium, I don't have the solar power, right? I'm, I'm just puzzled. That puzzles me. It puzzles me. Maybe it's because it's new and it's re it's fresh and that's what it is. I, I get that, but oh boy. Yeah, if you've got the 7 or 7X or 7 Pro, do you need to get an Epix just for the AMOLED display? I don't think so. All right, I got to wrap this up. It's already way too long, but hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming to the channel. I'm Ross. Appreciate all the support. Keep coming back. Don't forget, we've got two draws that are on the go right now. We've got the Benley Watch Duo, the X6000 and X7000. That draw is going to happen when we get to 3,500 subs, which is relatively soon. And it's June 1st tomorrow? What is it? Yeah, it's June 1st tomorrow. And we also have the Watch Trio, three Casios, three bangers. We're drawing when we get to 4,000 subs for that one. All you got to do is go to those videos. They'll, link, they'll be linked down below. Don't worry. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We're going to use the commentpicker.com. Go in there, have the randomizer, pull out a winner from the comments, and boom, we will send them to you. That's my time for today. Everyone be safe, be well, take care of you and yours, and we'll see you on the next one.